video is made possible by Audible.com. Audible.com has over 150,000 downloadable titles across all different types of genres. For your free book, head over to Audible.com forward slash tomorrow. All right, folks, so the first story this week involves virtual reality, man. That's right. You know, you guys all saw the lawnmower, man. That was some cool shiznick, right? Guy put on that headset, everything went just completely wacky. In fact, I think by the second movie, Homeboy like took over the world. Now, hopefully this won't happen as well, but now Samsung's releasing their Gear VR. Now, back in June, Engadget had done some reporting on this and said, hey, this thing's gonna be coming out. Now, this is not to be confused with any of their other products, not their Google Glass or Oculus Rift or anything else like that. But this is a whole new product from these guys that's gonna be introducing VR from the Samsung world. Now, this thing's supposed to have two screens and be twice as good as the Rift. So that in itself is actually pretty cool. So let's jump in and let's just check out a little deeper about what this is about. Like I said, this thing's not the rumored Galaxy Glass, but a different project altogether. The device has two AMOLED screens rumored to the equal or if not better than the second Rift development kit. What is unclear, however, is how the device connects to smartphones. Presumably, this will be a wired connection. And another thing is if the headset tracks head movement by using an external camera. It's also reported that Samsung is also looking to undercut the Oculus VR and Sony in price. What the price will be is unknown at this point, although the current second generation Oculus Rift development kit is $350. And obviously, since Android is the system that's running on all these phones, they will be focusing on Android gaming. It's rumored that this device will be released alongside the Galaxy Note 4 at the IFA 2014 convention that will be held in Berlin on September 5th to September 10th. This headgear will also allow users to connect to a Galaxy device via USB port. So all in all, this is going to be pretty cool stuff. So if you're looking for that type of product, it will soon be hitting the market for people to put on their heads and check it out. Next up in the news, EVGA, their new GTX 780 Ti actually blows a world record. Let's jump in and see exactly what was there. So check this out. A couple of renowned overclockers, Kingpin Lucidio and Ilya Tin Semenko, accomplished the feat with an EVGA GeForce GTX 780 Ti graphics card. These guys have blown past the 2 gigahertz barrier, which is pretty impressive. They did this using an EVGA X79 dark motherboard, and it was also powered by, oh, guess what, an EVGA branded power supply. In doing this, the overclocking team were able to coax the GPU to run at 2,025 megahertz, <gasps> which in and itself is a record. At that frequency, the team completed a successful 3D Mark Fire Strike Extreme run and posted a record-breaking score of 8,793 points. Here's how it scored by category. The graphics score was 9,230. The physics score, 20,896. And the combined score of 3,954. Once again though, this clearly shows EVGA's dedication to the cause of making their cards unbelievably well made. I mean, otherwise, how else would you be able to overclock a card that well and not just blow it out of the water right off the bat? So just them having the ability to do that shows their dedication to the overclocking community and shows EVGA still in the game. So I guess good job to you guys, Andrew and folks. Actually, they're in Brea. I could almost throw a rock and reach their office. Me and Anthony used to go hang out there all the time because they're so close, but you know how things do, things change. But anyways, that's incredible in itself. So these guys have been able to break a world's record and hey, there's nothing better than breaking a world's record to get one up. You know what I mean. Next story. Next up, this one is for Apple fans. We have the new iPhone 6 Sapphire screen leak. Now, if this shows to be true, Apple's upcoming iPhone 6 might just change the smartphone game with an unscratchable Sapphire display. It was put through a torture test and withstood it brilliantly. Talk about how regardless if you hate Apple or not, this is a big leap forward in the smartphone market. So hey, if you want something that can never break and you like Apple, you're in. All right, folks, so last up on the Saturday edition news. You guys all know that Thermaltake makes a lot of different keyboards. Now, these guys are gonna make now is metallic replacement keys. Now you guys can see from the picture that these things are basically, you know, kind of chrome looking, metallic. And you'll be able to do these on selected keyboards by the folks over at Thermaltake. So if you have a Thermaltake keyboard 
and you want to replace your keys with something cooler looking, for those people out there who like this design, you'll now be able to do that. So all in all, that's pretty cool stuff for people who like to you know, modify their keyboard. It's kind of like a small modification that you can get directly from the people at Thermaltake. So that's it folks. So like usual, every story and its full content will be in a link down below that like button, which I hope you guys will hit and say that you appreciate this video on Saturday. And once again, today's video was brought to us by the folks over at Audible. So we want to give a big shout out to the people over at Audible. Now, I don't know if you guys know what Audible out there is, but audible.com is really cool. If you don't have time to sit and read books all the time, but you still like the information, them, audible.com allows you to actually listen to the books. Now, Iron Man is a book by Tony Iron from Black Sabbath, and it's really cool. I don't really have a whole lot of time to read, but this is just something cool. Iron Man talks about the very beginnings of Black Sabbath, you know, all their drugs, their debauchery, all the crazy things that they did to become Black Sabbath. And Rolling Stone actually called these guys the Beatles of heavy metal, and I kind of agree with that. Black Sabbath to me is the birth of true heavy metal, and being able to listen to the book through audible.com is actually really cool. If you guys are interested in that, I'll have that down below. I know a lot of my fans out there are totally into the heavy metal and stuff like that. You guys can actually jump in and you can get this for free right now. So you guys can go over to audible.com forward slash tomorrow, begin your little trial membership, and you can get this Iron Man book by Tony Iommi and listen to it for yourself. All right, folks, thank you very much. I hope that you folks watch till the end. I know some people hate ads and everything. I apologize, but you know, we have to feed our families as well as bring you guys new information. So, hey, peace out. We love you guys. Also, by the way, We'll have all of the deals of the day, and unfortunately they are just deals of the day, but they'll all be listed down there below and there'll be some pretty cool ones. So make sure you guys go down there and hit that show more button where all the information is. So everything's down there, the stories, the deals, and all that. I'm Elric, it's a rockin' Sunday. 